Cam, with this being the in-season tournament as it continues and a needed win for you guys to move to that next round, what's just the mindset going into this one? Compete. Compete as always. Um, you know, there's some things that we need to clean up that we've seen over the past couple games, and uh, I think that's a big emphasis is just, you know, continue to play with pace, continue to play hard. How have you liked the in-season tournament so far and kind of what it does bring to the league now that you've got, gotten a chance to play in it? Uh, the courts are definitely different. That, I mean, I didn't play the Chicago one, that, but that Boston court was very green. <laughs> Looking forward to seeing what ours looks like tonight. Um, but there's definitely a little added competitive edge. Um, so, you know, these games mean stuff to us. Um, all these regular season games do, especially as we try to build something. So look forward to it. We talked about seeing it tonight. Does it add an extra boost to have the fans also there to be able to kind of experience the in-season tournament, to see the jerseys, to see the court, and uh, just have to kind of have it all together? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Um, and I hope that they bring that added juice to the game. Um, you know, they've been supporting us well this year, and, and I love to see it. So you have a team with as A, still trying to get its rotations down and its cohesion, and B, has so many guys that are either minimum salary guys or one-year guys. Does this tournament, you think, carry more weight with this team than it might some other teams that have been around and been together for four, three, four years? Maybe, maybe. I mean, you know, your ultimate goal isn't to win the in-season tournament. It's just to be the best team that you can be at winning championship. Um, but this is definitely an added, added component to that, um, and, and it's a cool incentive, something that you can really earn early in the season. Uh, so, you know, definitely going to be a lot of fun. You guys have been shooting the three ball really, really well. Even when Ben's up in there pushing the pace, yeah. the shots are falling. From what you've seen and you being on court, what do you attribute that to collectively with this group? It's like a freedom, a freedom um, and a trust. And what does that do? And as a shooter for you, what does that do? Like when you get empowered that way? How do you do it, it makes you feel a lot better, man. It makes you feel a lot better. And, uh, you know, sometimes it always go in, but, but and then, you know, the percentage is even out. And for me personally, I know I'll get back to, to how I can shoot the ball. And, and for guys across the board, it's just, you know, that empowerment is big. For you, I mean, you've always been known to have impeccable shooting form. Is the shooting so far, and you've thoroughly only been back two games, is that, have you noticed anything with the mechanics or is that just a matter of getting the timing because you miss so much time? Honestly, I feel the mechanics feel great. Um, <laughs> in my head, I probably made seven or eight more that came off my hand and, you know, I wouldn't change a thing about. So that's just part of the game, man. You've been, been shooting three so long since I was a little kid. And like I tell you guys all the time, I wish I, I wish I can say I never miss a shot in my life. I wish I could say, you know, I always shot three out of every seven makes, you know, but, uh, that's how it goes, and I'm looking forward to just getting back. They feel good, so that's encouraging to me that, you know, I keep letting them fly, they'll, they'll start to fall. In your return to action, you went down to Long Island with Nick, scrimmage yeah. with the team. What can you say about, I guess, the culture down there, the synergy you've noticed between Brooklyn and the Long Island club? It was good. It was good. Um, you know, that, that ability to send guys down to play with them, where they get meaningful construction to their games, where they get coaches that are in tune with the coaches that we have here. You know, for guys like Derek and Jalen and Noah and Armani, it's huge. And then in addition, the opportunity, the option to be able to go down and play with them if you need some return to play stuff is uh, is really good. So it's appreciated. You played a season high of 35 minutes in your last game. Just do you kind of feel like you're all the way back? And just how are, how are you feeling? Physically, I feel good. Yeah. yeah. Cool. Um, and I know you mentioned after your first game back, just not taking these games for granted. I just, how, I guess, how good does it feel to be back out there and finally stringing some games together after the preseason and the yeah. early injury? Yeah, it feels real good um, to be able to play back-to-back -back games. Like you said, you just, you know, you start taking things for granted a lot less. Um, just the opportunity to play, man, is wonderful, and it's, I, I appreciate it. So, you know, I look forward to taking advantage of every opportunity and understanding that we're trying to build something, and I'm trying to build something. Um, so, just continuing to, you know. Hammer away. I think Mikhail said the other day that he's with, with his shooting. I mean, Jock has told him, just keep shooting through it, keep shooting through it. Yeah. You've seen him his whole career. How do you think he's going to just, you know, how is he handling this this process where the shots aren't falling, but he's still trusting that they're going to fall eventually? Uh, I think the same way he's handled any other stretch. Um, it's frustrating, right? I think it's frustrating, especially if you chucked him up and they didn't feel good and they're hitting backboard and everything, you'd be like, okay, you know, I miss those. But, I mean, I was just watching clips and some of Mikhail's shots were in the clips I was watching, and we pause it, you know? Capes, the coach, Coach Case would pause the screen. And off one of his threes, the ball looked like it was in the hoop, like it was below the, the rim, and somehow it popped back out. So like I said, you know, the best shooters in the world shoot 
in the mid 40s. So there's going to be makes and misses, um, and unfortunately there's going to be probably more misses than makes if we're being realistic. But he has the ability to. He has the ability to, and he just has to keep on shooting because they're right there and they will fall. It'd be a game where he goes 10 for 10, and you're going to be like, oh my God, oh my God. <laughs> Well, speaking of Mikel, he's getting his jersey retired coming up this weekend. Is that something that you are going to be in attendance for? And how excited are you for him to kind of have that moment? I'm really excited for him, man. That's such a cool. That's such a cool thing. Um, you know, I, the one thing he doesn't really do is talk about college much when he has all the license to and won two national championships. Um, so that's just one hell of an accomplishment and, and achievement. And you know, you can't ever take that away from him. So I'm really proud of him, and uh, I'm really excited to be there. Mikel. Um, the Nick guys, Austin Reeves, there are so many guys that came back um, from FIBA that may not have gotten the start that they wanted. Now, you think? Now, obviously, it's it's a wonderful accomplishment. It's a bucket list item for anybody yeah. and an honor. Is it? Do people talk about it as just accepting that? Hey, I'm going to do this and I'm going to be honored to do it, but. I might just have to deal with having a slow start, or is it, no, I, or is every case just so different that every case is different? Every case is different. I think the experience as a whole grew our our games. Everybody individually, I think, got a lot better from that. Uh, Ten games into the season, you know, it's three games in for me. Um, I feel like the, you, you can't really write write off or write up uh, a cause and effect yet. Um, but you know. It was definitely something that I'm glad I did, and if I were to go back, I'd do it again. Um, and I don't think the injuries that I sustained early were in connection to it at all. But all I can do is speak for me personally, and you know, I'm just looking to find a rhythm, and uh, that's how it goes in this game, and, and I'll continue to push through that. Speaking of rhythm, when it comes to a team that's had to deal with so many different rotations, now that you and Nick are back, and I know you're still waiting for other guys to come back, but how critical is it that you guys did have the time especially with that starters that Jack did use the last game that you guys spent a lot of time together last season that you guys can kind of lean on a lot a lot and um, you know having Nick back in the lineup is just huge for what he's able to do offensively and defensively he puts pressure on the rim which kind of gives us a little more space on the perimeter um, but like I said you know it's always things to iron out and that's what we're doing you mentioned before the season just how Ben Simmons is like the ideal player for you to play with. Yeah. I guess just what will it mean to have him back and what are you looking forward to in terms of how it will affect you? Just, like I said, just growing that chemistry. Um, there's there's a lot of things you can do when, when, when you play with him that can result in easy baskets, and I'll try to take advantage of every one of those. Thanks, Cameron. Thanks, Cameron.